We are given an ideal gas that follows the process P is equal to alpha V. So P is proportional to V. We are also given that volume increases eta times. So we need to find the change in internal energy, work by the gas and molar heat capacity of the gas. So this is a polytropic process where polytropic constant is minus one. And we have seen that for any polytropic process, the molar heat capacity is given by this and work done given is by this. So let's start writing our answers. So internal energy is uh, N naught CV into delta T. We don't know delta T. So let's leave it here. In second, process, second part, work performed is this so again we don't know delta t and third is molar heat capacity which we have already derived so we'll just put the value of n as minus one and we can get our answer now for these two parts delta t so we are given volume increases eta times and we are given the process so from here this is the relation between pressure and volume so we'll get it into a relation between temperature and volume. So that's how we'll calculate delta T. So pressure will like, like write like this and then initial and final conditions will get the final temperature as eta square in each times initial, which gives delta T is T2 minus T naught, which becomes this. Because T naught is not given to us. So now T naught is PV by NR and V naught is given to us, but P naught is not. So we'll use our relation, which is given initially. So P is equal to alpha V. So P naught is equal to alpha V naught. So now we have got delta T in terms of everything that is known to us. So we'll put that value of delta T in these two parts and get our answers. All right.